Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how in Streamlabs OBS we can have multiple audio tracks recording to a single video file, basically splitting the audio of desktop audio and mic auxiliary audio into their own separate tracks so that you can modify them individually when you're video editing rather than having them combine into a single audio track. So if you want to do this, the first thing we're going to need to do is to open up the overall settings for Streamlabs OBS. So in the bottom left hand corner, there is a gear for opening up the settings of OBS. So go ahead and do that. And then we need to go over to the output tab. So it's the third one from the top. When you're here, we're going to need to change output mode from simple to advanced if you haven't already done so. So when we do that, you'll notice that for streaming, you can only actually select one audio track still. So you can select an audio track from this list, one through six, but you can't actually split the audio when you're streaming. You can only do so when you're recording to a file. Of course, you can record and stream at the same time. So that can be a helpful workaround if you want to do further editing and some post-production. But what we still want to achieve here is to have split audio tracks for the recorded file. So go over to the recording tab here, and we're going to need to come down here to where we see recording format. So FLV here, it says, does not support multiple audio tracks per recording. So if you're currently recording in FLV, you're going to need to change that to a different format, such as MP4 or MKV. So we can choose MP4 for simplicity's sake because MP4 is compatible with almost every video editor. So once you've done that, we need to change the audio track. So by default, the audio track selected here is going to be one. You can still use one for your audio track, but generally I like to reserve audio track one as the streaming specific track. So what I will do if I have two channels of audio, desktop audio and the microphone, is unselect audio track one, and enable audio track two and audio track three. From there, you can go over to the audio tab and you can actually name these tracks so that you don't forget, um, basically future reference. So I label audio track one as my streaming track, audio track two as desktop audio and audio track three as microphone. The streaming track is going to have all of the audio combined into one track because that's the only current possibility for streaming. So once you have all of these settings, you can go ahead and hit OK. But the next thing we're going to need to do is to go into the audio mixer settings. So find mixer. By default, it's in the bottom right hand corner. And then go over to the right. Make sure you're not selecting the desktop audio settings or the mic auxiliary settings, but the settings for the mixer itself. Click that and open up the advanced audio settings. And you should see tracks listed on the right. And by default, all six tracks will be enabled for all of your audio devices. So you can have your audio devices output to any audio tracks you feel. But if you're going with my setup, then you're going to want all of your devices to output to track one for streaming purposes. But then desktop audio is only going to output to track two aside from that. So I'm going to unselect everything else. And three is supposed to be my microphone track. So I'm going to deselect all of these other tracks. So microphone is outputting to one and three and desktop audio is outputting to one and two. That's how I have it set up. You're welcome to change things around a little bit as long as you know what goes where. So once we've done that, we can basically test our settings by going ahead and recording. So I'm going to just record a really simple file here uh, just for a few seconds of me talking and then we'll bring that into a video editor and make sure that two audio tracks are split on two separate channels properly. So uh, let's go ahead and stop it now. Okay, so I have this recorded video file here. Uh, let's bring this into DaVinci Resolve, a free video editor, and just drag it onto the timeline. And what you should see happen is that you'll have two or more audio tracks in your video clip. Uh, basically make sure that you have the right number set up. So if we go ahead and play back the video clip on the timeline, we should be able to hear me talk, record a really simple file here. Obviously that's coming from audio track two because the desktop audio had no sound. So if you want to make absolutely sure that your desktop audio is working there as well, then maybe have something playing in the background like a video game if you're going to be doing your initial test. And yeah, test everything before you go live, of course. But the idea here is that if you set up two audio tracks, you should see two audio tracks. And if you had more because you had more audio devices, then likewise, you can split it into three or more audio tracks. So that's pretty much going to be it for this simple video on Streamlabs OBS. I hope you guys found this setup tutorial helpful, and I will see you guys in my future video content.